all right what's up guys this is josh johnson back again with another video another high quality banger if you are new go ahead and subscribe like the video turn on post notifications if you are returning thanks so much for watching my videos i'm back with another banger so let's get right into it this video is basically going to be how to get your waves to show this has been a top question of mine and uh, also add me on snapchat this has been a top question on Snapchat. My Snapchat is Brios or Die. But yeah, this has been a really, really huge topic. So I really want to get into it. I really want to tell you guys how to get your progress quicker, like really how to get your waves to show, like, you know, whether you're just starting or, you know, you um, you had a different hairstyle, you're coming back to the waves and everything. I'm going to make sure you get your waves to show very, very well. This is what this video is going to be about. I'm going to get right into it. We're going to get into it. We're going to do this together. I'm going to tell y'all what y'all need to do. You know what I'm saying? Just listen to me. You know what I mean? I want to guide y'all in the wrong way. I want to make sure y'all waves looking crispy, good, man. You know, the silky waves, everything like that. So really felt like it was a good idea for me to make this video just so people can get the, the scoop. You know what I'm saying? Get the tips, get the uh, finesse on how to do it. So basically, um, let me just start off what getting your waist to show at any way. It's really just time. You know what I'm saying? Growing your hair. But most of all it's wolfing getting your hair to show like really really clear really really deep at all times is just wolfing and wolfing just comes with time and practice so when you're first starting out your hair probably won't be as clear or you know you may mess up your hair or it may not be as uh consistent you know sometimes you may sleep one day and your waves just aren't as deep as it was yesterday or you may get a cut your waves may go away and basically that just means that you haven't been putting the time in yet or, you know, you're just starting out and that's OK. You know what I mean? So the first thing I want to tell you all is do is shower brush, shower comb as well. Uh, use the leave in conditioner, use the shampoo, use the conditioner, do all that shower brush. You, this is why you're in the shower. You know, when your hair is getting longer and you're noticing you're getting a little bit more progress. It's just going to take time. You know, what I'm saying you just got to grow your hair, but don't feel like if it's taking you longer that you're not getting results because you are. So generally when you want your waves to show, you have to grow your hair. Like if you're getting waves or you're noticing waves, you're going to have curly hair. You know what I mean? Waves are just pretty much laid down curls. So the longer you do this, the better your waves are going to get. So shower brushing is just going to define your curls, define your waves, get you healthier hair. So you can get to the next step because wolfing is going to be the next step for that. And you want to make sure that you are staying consistent on the shower brushing you know what i mean so and then also too with shower brushing like sometimes when your hair is growing really really long really really fast it's hard to keep up so that's why we shower brush you know what i'm saying we shower brush to get the curls out to make sure it turns into waves and we can lay them down immediately but really shower brushing is a cheat code it really helps you out so that you don't have to keep brushing 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 like dry brushing and you're not seeing progress or you have to keep focusing on your pattern and everything like that shower brushing is going to help because it's going to literally glide through your hair when the water is running down so when it's gliding through your hair it's training your hair, your hair as well so just remember that like shower brushing is very very important and is it may look a little different maybe a little weird in a sense when you're first starting out but it's really going to give you the the uh, base, the guideline on how to get your waves deeper and more uh, defined. So that's really, really what you want to do. And also to, you know, using good hair oils, good products, that's also a key because it's going to have you have healthier hair. So you're going to get that shine and that nice look that you're also looking for. But, you know, just be mindful. Shower brushing is definitely, 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 definitely key to just make sure that you get to your highest quicker you know what i mean like just doing that is just going to get you there quicker and not doing that is just going to prolong the process this is going to take it a much much longer you know what i mean it's really like a cheat code because i wasn't doing that first and then i started and i noticed that i started progressing a lot easier you know see a lot more so definitely check that out definitely look up methods also look up my methods and everything like that and just grow your hair like i would say grow your hair shower brush you know what i mean so other than that really another thing you really 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 want to look into 
is using natural products using natural shampoos and conditioners because this isn't going to dry your hair out and for the long term this is better for your hair so your hair is going to pretty much reward you because you're using products that aren't harsh you know what i mean that isn't full of like different chemicals and different um additives and all that stuff you really want something that's going to be natural and it's going to work with your hair and you know what i'm saying if you have products that work with you know if you're black with black people with hair and everything like this work with your natural curl pattern if you work with products like that or people who have that same hair curl, uh, pattern or curl pattern you have if you work with that it's just going to make it easier so you don't have to be as rough in your hair or you're going to have different types of oils and different types of nutrients and vitamins in it in your product so it's going to help your hair out so definitely be mindful of that but they are expensive i will say that the more natural the product is the more money is going to be but it's going to be worth it in the long run so i would say natural products definitely keep the shine it definitely keeps the hair long and it keeps it healthy you know healthy hair is just going to make it so much easier to get the waves that you're looking for and get that shine that you need i'm telling you like this is really really a good 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 key and uh, you know and then also too with being getting natural products I, even though i'm saying getting it you can still use what you have now and then transition later so you don't have to buy everything at once but you know you can start okay like hey i don't necessarily have the natural shampoos now but i know later on i'm going to want it i'm going to get it so you know don't throw away what you got still use it but just know like in the future like long run you want something that's natural so that way you can continue to use it and your hair is going to give you that shine or that shine that i have so definitely recommend that and then you know that plus shower brushing is good then after that after shower brushing after you know using your products brushing your hair having a good brush also helps out with having deep waves like if you want your hair deep and more defined having a good brush that gets to the top of your head to the scalp like literally from the top like where your hair is to your you know scalp on your head having a brush that's going to be able to literally pull the curls down and lay them down is going to help you out a ton that's one of the biggest things because if you over curl your waves aren't going to look as good like because you're not going to able to be able to lay everything down so keep that in mind you want to make sure your hair is laying down you want to make sure your hair is like under a do-rag at all times as much as you can because when you're in the training process, you don't have time to mess up. You don't have time to take a day off. You know what I mean? You're just getting into it. So you got to go full force with it. You got to make sure you're doing your routine. You're sticking to your routine. Do not go to sleep without a do rag on. You know what I mean? This over curling is already a problem in itself. So just think about it. When you don't have a do rag, your hair is literally going everywhere. So that nice curl or that nice uh, wave pattern is gone or you have to literally put more work in to get it back to where it used to be. So just cut that out. Use a good do-rag, a silky do-rag every night as much as you can, and you're going to be Gucci, bro. But just make sure that you're using it consistently. It's, this is really key, just being consistent and not giving up and not being discouraged when you don't see progress. So, And it's going to help out too, like having a do-rag often, because your hair is going to get longer and longer and longer. And you want to make sure you're able to keep up with the wolf. So keep a good do-rag on you at all times. So that way you can get your waist to show more and more and more and more and more. Like it's literally a process. Like going from scalp, like scalping to having going, going to wolfing. It's a process. So it, at that process is more and more hair. You know what I mean? Your hair is consistently growing. Um, it may be a couple more weeks, depending on if you're a straight hair waver or a coarse hair waver. But just know that you have to keep up. You know what I mean? Your hair is not going to stop growing or you're not going to get a break just because you don't feel like brushing hair. Or you don't feel like being on your routine or you don't feel like wearing your do-rag. You don't get a break, bro. Like it literally is an everyday thing. If you want your hair to be perfect, you want that curl pattern, you want that nice shiny waves, you got to stay up on top of that. You got to make sure you wear your do-rag, bro. So be mindful of that. Don't get lazy with it and make sure that you're laying down your hair like all that good work all that good healthy hair that you have now from using good products you want to make sure that you're being consistent because that's going to show your progress your work to everyone you know everyone's going to see like okay he's serious with it his waves look nice his hair looks different than everyone else's because 
he knows what he's doing. He knows his waves, he knows his curl pattern and his hair specifically. People will take notice of that and they know when you're putting in good work, you know what I mean? So it's very, very obvious. And for those who aren't doing it, you're gonna stand out 10 times more because you have that pattern that everyone's looking for. So I would definitely say that. And you know, using good brush, I always say turn a pro, turn a pro is really good, you know what I mean? Just to get to make sure I, um, cause I do videos, you know, I gotta make sure that my hair is able to get from the top to the bottom, like from my scalp to the top of my hair, like, you know, that's important. So Turing Pro definitely does a good job with that. And the curve definitely gets my angles right. So can't really complain about that. That's just what I do. That's what's been good for me. And, you know, as I always say, you know, you mix everything in and then you use the gold sporting waves as a memory card. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just real simple. You know, gold memory card, that's how I would say it, gold sporting waves. It's, you gotta save the progress, you know what I mean? Every time you go to sleep, you gotta save the progress because you're gonna have more hair. You gotta think about it like that. You're gonna have more hair, your hair's gonna continue to grow. So you gotta make sure you're using a pomade too to lay that down, lay all the hair down. Because if not, your hair's gonna rise up and you gotta get another cut start all the way over or if not start all the way over your pattern isn't going to be as good as it could have been if you were more consistent with it like that's what i would say that would make more sense more, like kind of like easier for you to understand but but yeah man it's really like a, a consistency game you know what i mean you can't take a day off with it um and when i say you can't take a day off with it normally it takes like months to really get your pattern train like get your hair trained like you can still have waves and you know it's not gonna take a month to see progress but just getting your hair trained is going to take some time you know what i mean so to where you don't have to really worry about like too many of the steps getting your hair trained takes months like get your hair super trained takes like maybe two months and uh after that everything is more downhill so you don't have to really worry about all like all the like extra things you know what i mean because you you won't be at beginner at that point you'll be more advanced so that's pretty much what i'm trying to say but you know what i mean use a good product use good products in the sense of like the brushes and the oils and the leave-in conditioners like that matters make sure that natural the pomade you really don't have to worry about the pomade being natural because you need that like that's pretty much like the stick in everything you put in your work but everything else you know i'm trying to make sure you stay natural um, you know, save, invest your money into it because this is your hair and people, that's like one of the top things people see, you know what I mean? So there's no way of getting around that, but you know, invest in that, really get into it and learn your hair, bro. Learn your hair. You can't go wrong with that. And your hair isn't going to go anywhere. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's, it's going to be with you. So just kind of think of it that way. I just want to give you all these quick tips, something simple, something easy that you can you know, work with, manipulate with, and just um, grow with. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Add me on Snapchat, ask me on Snapchat. You can always do that. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out.